morning everyone. How are we doing? Uh, gosh, where are we at? Wednesday today? I think so. Yes, Wednesday today. Um, so we are at 7.07. Um, it's very dark and foggy, misty, but like a lovely smell in the air. It's like, it smells like winter. It's, it's got to that stage. Now we needed some white stuff, not milk. Hope you're all good. Um, comments on the video from last night. Um, interesting, interesting uh, job that Audi. Um, first, first one I've done of the A1s. Um, not a bad install. It's not the easiest because it's quite difficult, obviously, with a head unit and stuff like that. But it's it's all right. Same same. Um, what we got today? So Ford. S Max coming back in. Now, there apparently is a problem with this heater module. When the standard radio and sat nav, and it's one screen that shows everything, is in the vehicle, it's obviously talking to and communicating with either a module or an ECU that allows it to operate in the way that it does. I had this idea of looking at it going, well, the plugs are the same. If we put in a manual, air conditioning unit as in it's got its own screen it's not reliant on the sat nav what's the difference everything's the same so we had the car there we turned the car on we plugged this thing in and it worked but apparently you've got to switch the ignition off and then once you've switched the ignition off it will never come back on because it's not receiving a message from somewhere or voltage from somewhere and it's a common fault so loads of people have tried swapping out these manual uh, air conditioning heating units the screen the controller it's worked once and never again which is rubbish so we've got the thing back in today because his wife loves the car play but obviously needs heating because it's winter um, so what I've got to do is basically take all the pioneer stuff back out put the standard radio back in or power it up and, th and then I've basically got to go through some measurements on the two plugs, the black plug and the white plug, and see what the cables are doing voltage-wise, okay? Signals, Earth's grounds, whatever, Earth's lives even. See what they're doing. And then put the second one back in, fool it to switch off, obviously do an ignition cycle so that the unit goes dead, and then see if there's a cable that had voltage or a ground that's now not got power or ground and see if I can then if, if if that works then I can obviously try and replicate either a trigger feed to it or add a ground to get it to think that the sat nav unit is still connected hence give us the controls back regardless of whether the pioneer in there or the standard unit in there it's gonna be a bit of a mission it's gonna be a head scratcher um, nobody's managed to fix it anywhere literally anywhere all over the internet everyone has got the same problem the only thing they seem to be doing is I found one guy talking about all his post read was that he'd sorted it but he never ever then gave any information on what he'd done to actually fix it so I think that's a bit of a red herring um, but he was talking about changing out like ECUs for a lower version to make it work now in hindsight that's probably the same thing I'm going to do but in a more analog format because I'm going to add a cable or give a voltage or whatever when we find one missing because the other one's been shut off because the unit's changed but I'm not going through changing ECU so it's just daft absolutely rubbish um, so a fun testing day today we've uh, we've signed the contracts for our house yesterday when I got home there was some paperwork from the solicitor um, so we are kind of pretty much tied up done our house is sold Good to go. Um, we're just waiting on the other bods of the Rawton house that we like. Um, obviously, the offer's in and it's been accepted. We've got to wait for the solicitors to do like a bill of sale, like a confirmation, uh, and then we get the ball rolling. We're trying to find out from our estate agent what what is happening. I know they were going to look at houses, but I don't know whether they've like liked one, bought one, found one, or whether they're going to do as they say and move out. I don't know. Um, he went away at the weekend on holiday, which was not great timing when you're trying to get hold of somebody. <laughs> um, so we're yet to find out about that. I 
else has broken down, that's a great place to stop on a roundabout. Um, so we're going to get some breakfast, um, probably, probably porridge and a coffee this morning. <clears throat> somebody getting beaked up for carving somebody up. Oh, they're all out today. How is everyone? We good? Um, subscribers, we've gone down one, we've lost a brother. They obviously logged onto the channel expecting some, you know, beautiful, suave, sophisticated gentleman. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> but yeah, he's gone. Um, so we're down a person on the channel. That's all right, we'll get back. Not that one, but we'll get another one. We are steadily growing, fellas. We're steadily growing. Right then, dudes. Let me just silence this radio down a minute. We could be entering a new... Okay, so we've got the Ford C-Max back in. S-Max back in. And our issue is... Uh, that manual heater control box doesn't work after an ignition cycle when we've got a Pioneer in here, an aftermarket radio. So what I've got to do is take all this apart again, pull it all up, get out, put the old system back in it, try the radio code, and then on the back of here, we've got a white plug and a black plug, and I need to basically measure all of the pins, all of the voltages, and see what's there when it's working and everything's gravy. Then we fit this back in it, try it on again, do an ignition cycle. This then stops working. So one ignition cycle, it seems to lose something. So we need to measure this in its solid, normal state and come back into the aftermarket side of things and see what misses from this, see what changes um, and hopefully have a re resolution uh, for the guy. Either standard fitment or keeping the Pioneer. I want to keep the Pioneer going for him because it's just, you know. One pair of pants later. Right then boys. Sad times. So, this thing, uh, it's basically a digital signal. Um, there's nothing I can do with it to make the climate work on the new car. Uh, as soon as the ignition is cycled, it shuts everything down and stops you being able to do what you want to do. Um, it's really frustrating. But like I say, I can't change any of it because it's 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 electronically done not like a cable we've gone through the whole diagnosis thing figuring out powers voltages the only thing i would say is that when the ford radio this one the sat nav is disconnected and we put in an aftermarket heater control everything goes up slightly not down it just doesn't disappear but it does go up slightly but we've still got if we go on digital radio and if i go on list we get that and then nothing else doesn't want to work so this one unfortunately has been returned back to standard because that's what the guys asked um but yeah what a pain in the bum i don't know what else to do i'm lost i've asked ford for help again to tell me if there is a way to code this out but as usual they want to keep all their information to themselves they don't want to help me so um other than ruining the guy's radio which they did last time you know they're not interested in trying to help out a third party but everything's back together. She's got um, heaters again, so she can control obviously temperatures and things like that. She'll be able to keep warm in the winter. But what a bath. So normal radio works. We can go on FM. We get normal FM. But if I go radio and then digital radio, I get nothing. Press and hold it or any of the tricks I know about signal and stuff like that, none of it works. But I think it's like a software issue because it just, gets to this you can change this and it never recovers it never comes back what a pain in a bum god damn you ford anyway see you soon right then guys we're done for today um i'm packing up stuff because i've got to go home and fix a shower but <laughs> wifey wifey cleaned and basically rubbed off all the bristles that spray out the water. So now we just get a puddle. Um, so I've got to go home and fix the shower head. Uh, the Focus, obviously we didn't manage to fix. Uh, sorry, S-Max, we didn't manage to fix. Put the old stuff back in it, returned it to its former glory. Um, and we'll redo that at some point, I'm sure. 
but for now uh, Ford have not got back to me but in doing my investigation I can't see any other reason for me um, you know doing anything with electronics unless it's coded which is a bit of a bummer but whatever um, M popped back in with a Mazda we managed to uh, sat in black her rear badge so that's now done and we're getting ready for what's tomorrow Thursday tomorrow we've got Craig 207 front and rear cameras that's tomorrow I've also got uh, the Beamer you know the huge huge sub we talked about the other day so we're gonna get it ready start the work ready for next year's show season so we can have his ridiculously large amounts of base so he's paid me to start building the box gonna get the materials in for this unit <laughs> so we've got this to do so we can start fabricating a an inch MDF box I'm gonna start doing some research um, probably try and find some treated MDF if I can and it saves it becoming a sponge obviously it's going to be in a cold damp boot so we'll see about that but other than that Wednesday's done I'll probably tag this onto tomorrow's video so you'll get two tomorrow two days until then fellas see you later early the next morning morning everyone doing a school run today wifey's got a meeting first thing so I'll just drop the kids off not at the pool if you get that joke fair play to you um, we're on our way in it is Thursday today <clears throat> and I've got a 207 I think coming in for uh, front and rear cameras and then tidy up I need to sort some stuff out in the shop because it's getting a bit messy probably play some orders as well um, as you can see well you probably can't but it's stupidly foggy everyone's driving through town with their fog lights on because obviously you need fog lights in town <coughs> Let's blind the person behind you. But I'm going to get to shop. I'll see you in a minute when we've got the fun stuff in. See you in a bit. Morning, dudes. First one in Peugeot 207. Front and rear dash cameras on it. Apparently, his dad's just been rushed into hospital, so I'm not going to waste time hanging about. We're going to get straight on with this so he can have his car back. See you in a bit. Bye. Hours installs are us. So we got this one done. I'm gonna give them a call straight away, get them to come and get it. Um, but we've got front cam obviously there, rear cam over there. We've got this one on the roof clip. Um, we haven't gone for the uh, stick to the back windscreen because the tailgate is one piece and it's solid. There's no grommet in the middle for me to get cable through so it would stick out like a prick at a wedding. So, gone for the roof clip on this one 
I'm just going to run through the setup, turn the park mode on, then give my tinkle. From a park See you in a bit. She's impatient. So, <laughs> someone's going on with the radio. <laughs> we got the Lotus back at Clarkie's and we're going to do new suspension bushes to go in our new bolt. As I've got a bit of a quiet, quiet morning, we're going to get this rocked out. And we right side. Now I fed him. You fed me raw cylinders. <laughs> What's that one? Yeah, one cylinder. <laughs> Stormzy, so we're cracking on. Um, we've got the exhaust turned, and this is now not under duress. And size stressing me out. <laughs> You're stressing me out. So we got new hardware. Wish we had new software. <laughs> uh, new bolts, new bushes, new poly. That's all done, nice and purple. Purple schmurple. Matches the toolbox. Cool. Right, so we've moved our exhaust, that's now in line, and the cables are not so stretched. And we've now rebushed and rebolted all of this. So we've got new bolts, new bushes, new polys, new grease. Soil's been lubing up his little end. <laughs> Shh, don't tell everybody. Okay, that'll do. Get it down, pig. Press the down button. Down. It's going up. It's a scary bit when it goes Hardukin <laughs> and just hits the deck. See in a bit. Look at this weather, boys, eh? That's how foggy it is. And you can't see a lot. Um, there's not a lot of grip on the floor either, we're just wheel spinning. But there's not enough distance to see for a good overtake. For the car. Drives lovely again, not got any knocking. Certainly makes a difference having joints that are tight. Um, so I'll probably come down to the workshop later on because this place is freezing and it is like probably about five degrees today. It's uh, There's no sun because of the fog so it's very, very chilly. So I'm sure we'll see him in a bit, but he's a good old side. We've got a nice, nice soft, suspension kind of tight feeling but you know it's not meant to be it handles the road and it covers bumps well it's not meant to be like harsh and abrasive uh, uh. but again off to work i'll see you in a bit right then dudes end of play for what we at thursday isn't it yeah look at this the camera system it totally looks like it's snowing outside but it's actually just all the thick fog but I, I got a bit excited then. We are actually due for, um, they're saying snow as early as next week, which would be cool. <laughs> Shame we don't have the Land Cruiser anymore. God damn it. But no, I, I welcome any kind of snow. Um, but that's it. Just warming the cars up. Going to get ready to go home. Cut up a video for you. Lovely lot. Um, got the Lotus done. Obviously all the bushings changed on this now so I can drive this with confidence and feel like it's not going to fall apart. That's always a bonus. And Sai gave me some really weird beer to try. It's um, peach lager hmm. with a textured monkey. <laughs> There's two words you can't say in a sentence. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shut up shop, get home because it's bloody freezing. I've got to pick takeaway up on the way home. I think we're going to have Chinese tonight and I will see you all bright and early in the morning. Till then, like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. See you soon, fellas. Bye.